quick um, tutorial, well not tutorial, more of a showcase for my one terabyte system. All games 25,902, I'll flip through first, so then we just want to know what's on it and sort of what numbers are on it, we can have a quick look without uh, having to watch the whole video. So, Amstrad CPC 1945 games, MAME 2543 games, Atari 653, 5200, 72, Atari ST 308, 7859, Lynx 83, Jaguar 54, 110 Wonder Swan, 97 Wonder Swan Colour, 109 Colour Division, 1942 Amiga, 8172 Commodore 64, 107 CD32, 114 Television, 323 Telegraphics, NES 927, Game Boy 830, Super Nintendo 811, 64, 315 games, Game Boy Color 591 games, Nintendo GameCube 243 games, Game Boy Advance 1051, Ports is just four games that's already built into better Sarah if I game I'll remove that off the list. So the word built one that's built is the Thomas Wave, which is uh, basically a Dreamcast arcade system. 23 games. Sega SG 1000, 75 games, Master System 319, Genesis uh, Mega Drive is 866 I believe. It's very small on the screen. Game Gear 292 or 267. <laughs> Uh, Sega CD, which is uh, yeah, 32x basically. Um, 33 games, Sega Saturn 275, Dreamcast 290, Sabic Spectrum 419, Neo Geo CD 93, PlayStation 1134, PlayStation Portable 504, LCD games, Novelty 59. So that's it. So. Um, you know, all these, basically, you're going to be the same sort of systems, same sort of collections anywhere else, you know, you're going to have else. So I'm not going to go into everything. You know, there's your Game Boy, pretty much 927 games. They've all got videos, 90, over 90% of everything in my collection has got videos or all pictures, mainly videos. If you look at, like, the um, Amstrad CPC, it's just pictures. And then if you go on to say the Atari ST, it's a mixture of pictures and videos. That one's just a picture. But for all your consoles, it's pretty much 100% of them have got the uh, up the right artwork. Game Boy, I'll show you how these work, but look through. So instead of being full screen, so it looks ridiculous. It puts it like that. Bezels. You can turn them off, you can have it full screen if you want, but everything will be stretched. So I'll quickly come out of that game. I'm not going to go through them all. Super Nintendo again. Pretty much they'll all have every video and, and piece of artwork there is. C4, 315 games. Quick scroll through. It's pretty much for a for a UK collection there, 315 is about a full ROM set basically. There's there's pretty much every game ever released in UK on there. If you watch my other videos you can get some tips on how to run stuff and how to change um resolution of games but and stuff like that, you know, the, the, I'm not gonna mess about putting it on every single video. This is just a bit of a quick showcase as I'm doing the hard drives now. This is uh, a one terabyte system I just built for somebody. I so had an issue with the hard drive. First time I've ever had an issue with a Western Digital hard drive. It wrote to it perfectly and then when I tried to read it, it took about an hour to load anything up. So First time I have a Western Digital green, so it's had a brand new hard drive in it now. Yeah, I'm not going for all these. GameCube, 243. I'll have a scroll through. We'll have a quick 
couple of um, random games. Let's just go through a few to see. Pretty much every game, pretty much all the the main games that were released are in here. I think my full collection is about 700 other GameCube games, but when I when I cut the um, collections down to make the small systems, I don't want to take every single good game off it. Mario Party 5 has not been scraped properly. So let's have a look. Mario Party 5 is there. So yeah, I don't I don't take off all the good games and, and leave you basically just the crap on it. It's, it's all I tend to take the crap off and leave you the better games. As you can see, all the speeds and everything sort of, sort of here. So this is basically running on a um, one that I've done for a customer. It's a Optiplex thirty forty. It's the i three. It's eight gig of RAM. Now. The thing is, with the one terabyte system, the GameCube. Is pretty much the most de demanding system you'll get on here, and it's the GameCube emulator Dolphin, which is brilliant, was designed to run on a dual core system. So, you know, you don't need an i5 quad core to run this system because then this, this i3 is uh, 3.7 gigahertz. So, basically, if you had a, an i5 that was a lot higher spec, it wouldn't run the emulators no better because the other two cores aren't doing anything. So it's as, as good as you need. So what I'll do now is if you press and hold your blue button, it puts a random game on. So I'll do a few of them, load them, so you can see I'm not just picking games that's going to work or stuff like that. So blue on Shrek Super Slam. Excuse me. I'm not going to stop on the games too long either. <coughs> Might get another copyright with the sound or, or something, but it's just to quickly show you that they load. We've all got like that there, as you've just seen the top left hand corner, it's created a memory card, a virtual memory card. For them. So it's pretty much every game I'll save. A lot of um, the emulators let you do a save state, which basically lets you save it at any point, and you can drop back onto it at any point. So if you've got to nip out somewhere, you can quickly put your save state on. I've never ever played this game in my life. It's a bit like uh, a take on um, the this, this slam game, the, whatever it was called. Super Smash or whatever it's called. Something, something like that. Anyway. Xbox and Start. Exits every game. Doing no, all no random game. Blood Omen 2. Yeah, so like I say, this is running straight off of the i5. Uh, I think it's the uh, 6100. 60, I can't remember, 61, 6500. But it's basically, I've got a graphics card. And, Runs on onboard graphics. The one terabyte system, the 500 gigabyte and one terabyte system, will run perfectly on a on a onboard graphics. As long as they're not really old systems. But again, One thing I'll say as well, I'll say it on every video, every system. Emulation isn't perfect, you will run into game, odd game that don't work. There won't be loads on this. A lot of the, your old computers are more than likely the ones that will let you down. The consoles, I'm just going to cut this because the videos take too long. The, um, I'll do one more random game on the GameCube, there we go. So, yeah, the consoles will be pretty much... 99% or that's I, I couldn't say without checking every single game but they're really really solid but obviously a lot of the old computers will have games that don't work there's 8,000 Commodore 64 games there's, they're never not going to all work I've clicked on plenty that don't work I've clicked on plenty that do work so they're more of a novelty the old systems are 
you can mess about with them, you can change the calls and stuff like that and get things working. Again, I'm not going to stick on these. Like I say, you've probably got them in copyright and sound and stuff, so I'll come out of it. Let's just show you the base of the games, the games work. Game Boy Advance, same as Game Boy, it's set on a little bezel screen, so you haven't got it on full screen. Uh, two great games, but uh, see now quick and neat Bathsera is. Bathsera, for anybody who doesn't know, is a Linux based operating system just for retro gaming. So, except for like your PlayStation 2 and um, maybe PPS. PSP course, your emulators for them. Pretty much everything runs brilliant on these. In some cases, a lot better than Windows. A, a, a lesser system would run systems that um, wouldn't work so well on a, Wind a Windows based system because of, it's literally just made for retro gaming. So I think I've got all the other stuff going off in the background like Windows have. But when you get to like to your PSP and PlayStation 2. You've got um, your open GL cores and stuff. It's, uh, they're not as optimised as Batisera as they are on Windows, but it's just makes all the time. So. It's a really good system. I mean, I've used them all, I've used App Spin, I've used Launchbox, Big Box, which is really good. App Spin, it's brilliant when it works. I've had a fail on me a few times where I just loaded it one day. I went, I went to the so, You know, luckily for me, I know I know how to build an uh, Amazon system, so I could just redo it. But it happened like three times on three different systems at the with Amazon, so so I stick to this. That's uh, Sega SE files and basically the one for the Master System that was released in Japan and America, I believe. Master System. I like to say I'm not going from all Saturn. Power Dreamcast. Through this, another great system. You're, you're basically your top systems on here is your, obviously your Nintendo 64, PlayStation, your Dreamcast, and your PSP and GameCube. PSP games are really good. The emulator PPSS PP is a brilliant emulator. And even this, I'll show you some games right now. We'll do a quick um, run dead or I'll have a quick look at that and then I'll uh, chuck a couple of random games on. Yeah, pretty much all these systems here, all the all your, your GameCube, GCast, your all the best systems that, that run on this one terabyte system on this onboard graphics. Yeah, I'm out of that. Get ready. So you got to that. Got random game. That's a great game to choose. One hundred two dimensions. Again, I'm not going to stall on him. You can see what it's all doing. Come straight down for it. Another random game. I had this game. When I had my Dreamcast. Some great games on Dreamcast. That Blue Sting was a brilliant game. I really enjoyed that. Well, the obviously, Red and Evil Codename Veronica. That was a great game. Just for a pile of crap to me, but. Spectrum, say PlayStation. The, the PlayStation is literally. It's there's um if, you, if I click on it, you can see advanced game options only later. I use Duck Station as a rule on it. You can use these other ones, they pretty much most of them do work in different ways. You can do certain things on one that you can't do on another. But Duck Station, I believe, if I press that, 
press the wrong button. If I press select. No, it's not. It's on PSX Art Real Art. Anyway, okay. Hmm. Let's give him options. Right, I believe that I use Duck Station because if we go into advanced game options now. Hmm. Well, you could change the rendering resolution on them to 1080p. Been a while since I, I clicked on the PlayStation, so I can't remember which is which. Anyway, I probably left it on that for a reason, but. If you find games that don't work or, or stuff like that, you can change that. That's easy enough. You can all you do is hold your A button on, go into um, advanced game options and change emulator. It's set to that one for every single game. But if you wanted to put it, that, say you wanted, well, let's put a dip that game. Well, let's try that. James Bond. Man. You wanted to um, use Duck Station for this to load. You could change that to Duck Station, and it's only just changing it on this one game instead of changing it on them all. But I'm pretty sure I used to use Duck Station on, on my system. What I set up originally, and they all work fine. It's like it's set on a bit of an higher resolution than anyway, it is. You'd be surprised if you get the old PlayStation like to plug them in outside of the, these emulators because obviously you can up, up scale them to 1920 by 1080 stuff like that. If you put your original PlayStation in, you'd be surprised that crap they look now. This graphics you remember them being brilliant. I mean, I remember you know, when PlayStation first came out, Gran Turismo and stuff like that. There's some graphical issues there on the character. Now, if you go and load a different emulator, that probably won't be there. I don't know what buttons I'm pressing here at all. <coughs> so, yeah, the PlayStation, is, you can mess about with them all. There's so many games in there. There's over 1100 games. So, same again. It's pretty much all your main games in here. If you press select, you can jump to G. Grand Turismo and stuff like that. Hold it on down, it will start going faster. Grand Turismo 1 and 2 that. When you see two things like that, it tells you there, arcade mode and simulation mode. Sometimes you'll get, you'll see like three files, but they're all the same. Basically, they're probably this one, two and three. You press your A button on, go to edit this game's method either. Right at the top, it tells you the exact file so sometimes that will say disc one disc two disc three there, whereas it won't tell you on the screen so it's not like a repeat game in some stages like i know full well if you go on to dreamcast i don't know what yeah, we'll see, we'll see. if you go on to um keep doing that go on to s and have a look at shen miri always like with two and three discs s There you go, Shenmue. There's three files there, all different videos. You can hide these, you can go in and hide them. I've done it on everything, obviously, it's, it's such a big Michael, system. If you remember, Michael, Michael, I do everything's a bit of a. But yeah, if you think, oh, there's only three, there's three files there, you don't know which is this one, because it doesn't tell you. I think they all load it, but if you click an old to the middle one, edit this game, and that so you can see it's disk one, all it tells you at the top. So, anyway, PSP. Now with the PSP, I've updated this um, system to the beta version of um, Batasera 35 because Batasera 34 basically screwed the PlayStation emulator up. You can still play all the games, 
but it messed about with the cord and they've redone it now so it's it's all working again so anyway if you go on to um advanced system options on this this is set to 1440 by 816 that's probably because some of the more challenging games might not load at 1920 but, but this hasn't got a graphics card in and take in mind these were pretty much they were better than the playstation one they were in between sort of they're probably but the buy routes are better than the playstation 2 graphically and more more powerful as such the king but they look really well when they're upscaled look really good games there's like um i'll just pop up a few Oh, but so you can put the bevels on this so you can have the, the PlayStation, the PSP port, the PS, PlayStation portable um, casing on the outside of the screen, basically. Like you, you see with the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, but because it's so good, messing about with that, you see, but because the PSP is such a, so good and so good, well, I mean, it's it. You can have it full screen, it looks really well. Even this is this isn't sound 19, 20, 1080, but it'll still look really good. Some really good games here, like Army of Two and stuff like that, they're, they're really good games. So and again with this, if you press your Xbox button and A, it comes into here. Where you can mess about with all your settings, you can also go on here if you want to save state. And now every time you load up, you can just press your Xbox button, button again, go into there and click load state. You can save it at any point, which is really good, obviously. You couldn't do that in the games. So you might have to nip out somewhere, rush out somewhere where you're not at a save point. And you can just quickly do that. The PPS, that's PPN. But there we go, that's it's just a quick, I'll have a quick scroll through. It's just a quick, um, you want to transmit your grandfather's daughters. Just a quick, basically, showcase of the, the one terabyte system to show you what you're getting. If you're on the hard drive or in the one terabyte system, this is basically what you get. You don't need a powerful PC to run it. Really good system to stick into an arcade cabinet or kills only bracing. That's a really good little game. Yeah, stick in an arcade cabinet or however you want to use it in your living room. You know, you man pad, whatever. They're a brilliant little system to have. Run really well, really smooth. Bat Sarah is a really good system. Well, that will do for now because I'm just about to go and put this PC in the post. So, oh, for now.